I was 13, doing makeup tutorials, no idea what I was talking about, but I pretended that I did. Uh, but I really just fell in love with the process of making videos. I think if you can fall, really fall in love with making them and find something about it that you genuinely love, that's the key. Because... When I got into it eight years ago, like I said, I didn't know that success was possible. And I feel like now some people do want to get into it specifically for the success and making a career out of it, which if you can make a career out of it, that's amazing. That's what I've been able to do. And I embrace that now. I'm so grateful for that. But if I went into it thinking, I want this to be my job and I want to be doing this for the next 10 years, I personally think I would have gone about it differently. And I would have been disappointed more easily because if I was so invested in how many views something got or how many subscribers I got in a certain amount of time like I never really set goals for myself as far as like subscribers and things like that go because that was never really my intention it was just focusing on the work that I was creating and I think being very emotionally invested in it is so important because that shows through you know I've, I've even had times where maybe I'm not feeling it as much or I'm not as passionate about making videos and that shows through and and now I'm at a place where I love woo. <laughs> Um, I'm at a place where I, I love doing it, and I think going back to that 13-year-old girl that was posting videos because she loved it, whenever I'm feeling a little self-doubtful, I go back to that first video, I'm like, oh, that's why I'm doing it. It's not for numbers. It's because it makes me genuinely excited, and I get to connect with people all around the world. So just doing it for the right reasons, doing it because you're passionate about it, is what's going to keep you in it for a long time. Otherwise, you will get discouraged. <laughs>